Shushu got done so dirty, but it's fine because that's not the focus of the previous episode. The focus was not the L that we took, but the enemies attacking us and Tenka finally showing up because this girl has been hyped up to infinity. I think it all first started with the ending song of Chain Soldier where we see this MILF in a bob cut looking at a dog collar, kissing it, wishing that she could put it on somebody. I think it's gonna be Yuki at this rate, right? And, and there's been plenty of moments where it's like, don't worry, because she's here. And Tenka shows up. Seemingly, she has some kind of spatial magic, some kind of teleportation shit, but she also has like blue flames that just showed up out of nowhere, like it's some kind of Amaterasu from Naruto, right? So let's see what she can actually do in today's reaction. Blue flames are monsters dying? Fuck me, there goes my Tenka using Amaterasu theory. Holy shit, I'm stupid. <laughs> United Front Tenka Soar. All right, whatever. Who cares about this side? Show me Tenka. Oh. Shoot, she's back. Okay, okay. But where's the real fight at? Where is she? Here we go. Here we go. You don't need the rest of them. Only she's needed. Don't jinx it, please. Don't fucking end this fight in one shot. Honestly, if Tenka one shots this dude, maybe, may maybe it is worth. All right. Whoa, lightning attack. All right, guys, Tenka's dead. Tenka's dead. The episode's over. Wait. See? How does she just appear from behind you, huh? How? Bless strong as steel. Alright. See, wait, 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 wait. She had a portal and oh, okay. So she obviously has some spatial ability, right? And what the fuck was that? Whoa, 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 whoa. She ports? But then she can like use like that spatial magic on someone else. Like you can like place some kind of like black hole on them. Is that what's going on? Right? Now explain, explain her power. She's such a biggest fan. <laughs> Number one. I. I just realized. This, this is our first Nene fan service. Oh my god, they try to sneak this in. Do, don't think that you can fucking get this through me. You see what's going on right now? No, 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 watch this. This is intentional. This is fan service right now. These degenerates! They figured out a way to sneak it in! Lolly cons, man. Oh, <laughs> Super Saiyan form. <laughs> Go beyond! Cool, alright. But I think she avoided everything. <laughs> Masaka. No, it's the end for you. Impossible. Oh shit. She just punches, but is there something special to the punches? She teleports him. That's whoa, 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 she punched? She teleported me with a touch, so like you can tap somebody, like you can kick or punch them and they also- Okay, okay. She's busted. Beam attack? <laughs> What's it called? Limitless? <laughs> okay. Ame no Mitori. More black holes again! Because last time, that time we shot a black hole at him, right? She she like jumped away. But if you're in midair and you get cast to the black hole, you can't like escape that. Ame no Mitori. Okay, okay, okay. Bye bye. Done. Holy shit, dude! This piano riff. <laughs> if I just casually rip a fabric of space. Jesus Christ! No wonder she's a commander. All the commanders are like that. Now, there's Kyoka, though. Is Kyoka really... I mean, right now we're comparing, you know, Tenka's, like, black hole ability 
Kyoka's ability to swing a fucking sword and sometimes change Yuki into a Mato. Well, it's more than that. There's, I feel like there's more than that. I feel like I'm underestimating Kyoka's power. That's right. A Supreme Commander is above them all. Holy shit. Yo, who's the Supreme Commander, man? Does this mean there's gonna be like a tournament arc of like, like all the commanders? It's like a, it's gonna be like a supreme commander selection exam. You know how like a master like a divine divisionary like divine visionary selection. Huh. I want to see all the commanders, man. Who is the current supreme? She's got to be a milf too, right? Oh, I'm blocking, all right. Oh, what? What's that look you giving me? You want to put that collar on me? Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting on you. Give me that collar, man. <laughs> See, this is the thing that happens whenever you're left with a cliffhanger at like a really important thing. The fucking action is done in the first fucking five minutes, man. I wanted the entire episode to be Tanka popping off. No, Nene, it's not your fault. You took one for the team and gave us lolly fan service today. Good Nene. Good Nene. She's 11, by the way. <laughs> little slave, yes? Yes, I'm your little slave. Don't call me Miss Izumo, call me Tenka. <laughs> yeah, you want an autograph? Uh, Alright, L, L uh, Miss Andri. Boys can be cool too sometimes. Yeah, Chiho and Himari. You saved me, big sis. Even though you've tormented me for the past like 15 years, I love you, big sis. You know, the Sindere, psych like psychotic Sindere big sister, she obviously cares a lot about Himari, but if you really think about it, she's a terrible sister, but yes, she does love her. Sure, sure. We're not coming back home, though. Nope. She's really heartbroken that we're not coming home. A draw for now. Tenka versus Kyoko. When is that fight gonna happen? Maybe this leads into the Supreme Commander selection arc if there ever is one. And maybe we do more 1v1s and then we can do like a 1v1 then in the future. I don't know. Maybe we're saving something, man. Bye bye. Oh, she's still smiling. She's still smiling and uh, giving us the eye, man. Hmm. Oh, wait, reward time. Threesome. Yeah, because, you know, two of them were on us at the same time. So. <laughs> Here we go. So, what's our in innate desires are gonna ask for? Is she gonna step on our balls while, you know, Himari licks our fucking pussy? <laughs> Oh, it's just hot spring moment? That's it? Yes, ma'am. This is pretty tame. It's just washing us, man. Yeah. Yeah, you're with washing a dog. Yeah, exactly. What you gonna do? That's right. Two at the same time. Drain the salon. Okay. Exploring its potential, you're saying instead of threesome, we can do foursome? Hmm. Hmm. Man, the one frame where they can show the nipples and she hides the fucking nipples. Like, what's the point? Why are you gonna show me the nipples sometimes, forcing me to stream on fucking kick instead of Twitch and fucking hide your nipples right now, huh? What's going on, Kyoka? Is the drawing gonna be comically bad in a funny way? You know the cliche of like, here I drew something, but it's actually so fucking bad? Let's see. Wow, this is amazing! What the? This drawing is actually really good! I thought, because sometimes I like that cliche of like, here I drew something and then it just looks like fucking MS Paint art. Wow, she's actually really good. Man, she's so tiny compared to them. Holy shit. Yeah, big sis. What up? Mmm. Hello, big sister. When are you gonna come back for me? Are there different squads? Different reason why the big sister isn't in here? I don't know. Different squads of human humanoids? That's like how there are different squads for- Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Isn't that Tenka? Wait, isn't that Tenka's magic? Is that you? Tenka. Tenka? Tenka? <laughs> I thought that she was done for today, but no, she came back for a little slave. <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do, huh? Get in my bed. All right, there's the autograph that we gave her. What? Off screen? Off screen? What did Tenka do? Did she just give us the nightly gawk gawk and teleport away? What happened? She just came to watch us sleep and that's it? Oh, hello. 
This is the night after she visits us in her sleep, right? Also, why don't you just fucking port us? Like, why do we have to drive all the way here? I bet it cost her nothing to fucking teleport us there. Bro, she casually ported to our room to watch us sleep. Why did she make us drive? That's right, do all their laundry and cook for them. So we came here to do their laundry? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Good job, little slave. Alright, time to clean. Oh, that's a lot of laundry right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which one's Tenka's? Yes, breathe directly into it. Oh, there's a little Kuma bear. Look at that little bear. <laughs> okay. Yo, Shushu straight up. I think she had a flashback last episode. She was thinking about being boyfriend, like wanting a boyfriend, right? Wasn't there something about, uh, something about, yo, your age, you should get a boyfriend and stuff like that. And she was watching the fan service scene with Himari too. And she's like, oh shit, why do I feel this way? They're really trying for him now. Oh, Yachiho's room. What does her room look like? It's probably a mess. Nobody, just barge in. Just barge in. <laughs> I knew she was a siscon, but this is a level I was not expecting. Entire room is just Himari. But she's so fucking mean to her. I know she cares about her sister, but holy shit. This is uh, beyond uh, loving sister, right? This is like stalker. Can you stalk your own sibling? Yeah, you can, I think. Is this healthy? Ah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> Didn't see anything. Wait, I see a certain girl on the couch there with their underwear. Mm, it's a sleepy girl. Sleepy girl. Hello. She just sleep everywhere. That is a crazy way to sleep. What is that? What is what? What is that angle? How do you? I don't even know how your leg just goes up like that. No, I think this is just pure fan service. <laughs> yeah, cover them cheeks up. Oh Jesus. Uh, um, uh, we're a body pillow now. Yeah, we're a body pillow now. Don't let Tenka see this, though. Yo, we might actually die if... Isn't she super strong? Holy shit! Mm. We're not supposed to have a reward with her, but I feel like this scene is more fan service than the threesome scene that we had in the bass scene, dude. Dude, his head's gonna pop like a watermelon. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Cap, you don't want to escape. <laughs> and though he wished for escape, he was unable to escape. So eventually, Yuki stopped thinking. Brain turned to mush. Himari. What's up? Yachiho? She working out? Cool. Oh, she's... That's a lot of fucking weights, dude. She's pretty fucking jacked. Yeah, because she lost to you. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. She has no ass, though. She has, like, no ass. And honestly, her form is actually shit, too. Now, I, now I'm fucking... I'm fucking talking shit as I'm watching anime, too. And someone... Look, 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 look. I feel like a lot of anime girls, like... All the details goes towards her titties and face, but like the ass is neglected in a lot of the moments. Like every girl has no gat, dude. Like look at this shit. This is straight LMAO. Laugh my ass off. She's laughed her ass off. There is no ass. Where's the dump truck, dude? Her personality sucks. She's a terrible sister. She's fucking mean. Oh. The power of a peach is based on a person's nature and knowledge. So, I thought that, like, just like Devil Fruits in One Piece, you're just, like, given a specific power, you know? It's like you don't have a choice, but her theory is that your powers are based on your inherent, you know, nature. The desire to learn made her copy other people. What? The fact that she can control time is because she wants to spend more time with her little sister. That's a bit of a reach, but it definitely does make sense. That means that Kyoko wants slavery to come back. <laughs> 
<laughs> and Tenka's ability. Tenka wants to like control everything so she can control space and time. I don't fucking know. What about Nene? Or sorry, Shushi. Why does she get big? Isn't her natural or instinct or desire to basically like have a boyfriend? Like wanted to? I don't fucking know, man. I, I don't know where we're going with this. Sure, it makes sense. Kind of. Yeah, why not? We're reaching for sure. She might be cooking though. For you, big sis. Aw, this is so wholesome. Nah, she's still gonna be a cindere, though. They're getting along better as soon as they start fighting. But, like, this bickering is basically just, you know, just sibling shit, you know? I think they're good. Does she wanna know what's in her room? Uh, maybe we shouldn't have that happen. Okay, Commander, the crater. There's just a crater there? A bunch of humanoids exist. There's way more than four, right? Like, I'm just assuming that there is as many humanoids groups as there are of us. Because we have different divisions and shit like that, right? So, like, I feel like there's different squadrons for the humanoids, too. Wait, is this the crater again? I'm just gonna assume this is the HQ of the humanoids? Uh, oh, and that's the girl we saw last time. These two are the ones that we saw last episode. They just kind of went away, though. So he survived. How? How? You hit by a black hole. Who saved you? How? At that last moment, this girl also has some kind of dimensional spatial ability. That's a bullshit. I mean, then again, Tenko's ability already is bullshit, so I guess it's kind of fair that they also have a spatial, you know, ability user there. <laughs> Alright! No, you couldn't! You got hit by a black hole! Okay, Lolly's name is Shikoku. Wait, they already fought the third squadron. Third squadron's wiped out? So they were just basically testing a commander's strength. And then they happened to come across Tenka, of all people. Okay, all out war! Wait, wait! Joryu is, you know, Miss uh, Nudist here. All eight people. They operate from the shadows, just like Shadow Garden. Our eight humanoids? Yeah, this person keeps saying how we're pests, right? We're humans, we're disgusting, but it seems like there's some kind of elitism. They're probably like enhanced, like better humans, right? That's what they think they are. <laughs> what are- so these are all Shuki that evolve into humanoids? I don't know, man. But like, I thought that like, um, our sister is a humanoid, right? I, I don't know, actually, because they look different. Design-wise, they actually do di look different. Because like, the humanoids before like our sister... Their models just look fundamentally different from them, so maybe they're not the same? I don't really know, but if we just go off of that assumption... These people are Shuki that became humanoids, while the sister is a human that became a Shuki and became a humanoid? Y you know what I'm talking about? I'm not sure, man. Oh? Oh, oh yeah? Little, little slave, what about him? Yeah, you want him? I want little slave. Yes! Send us over! Will Kyoko allow it? That's the episode, and... Yeah, honestly, I thought that the reward for the threesome scene was gonna be a lot more, you know? But it was just casual washing. I don't know, because it's for the first time, it's like, oh shit, it's not just one girl. We're gonna get fan service with two girls. Kind of a letdown, but you know what wasn't a letdown? Fucking Tenka, dude. Oh my god, Tenka is so cool. The, the, I, the, the best part about Tenka was, I, I think, like, how people talked about her. It's like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? And people are like, nah, don't worry, because she's there. Tenka is there, they have absolute confidence, and we still don't know the extent of her ability that we haven't really gotten, like, a true explanation, but I think it's safe to say it's just, like, you know, portals, spatial magic. You can kind of, like, cast a black hole into somebody, you tap somebody, they can kind of be, you know, ported up somewhere else, too. It's pretty OP, it's pretty insane. But the enemy faction seems to also have a spatial user because they say, you know, this person at the end. Now, I'm not sure who these people are. 
in terms of, yeah, they are humanoids, but I thought our sister was also a humanoid. Is our sister and them different squads? Are they part of the same faction? Are they separate factions? I'm not really sure, but at least we have a bunch of new people to look forward to. And the designs are great. And there's multiple squadrons, just like how we have multiple squadrons. And at the end, she wants a little slave. So we might go on a little... We, we, I think uh, Kyoka might hand off, you know... Uh, us to Tenka and we might get a little bit of fan service. I don't know what Tenka was doing when she poured it to us and was looking at her bed, but like, hmm, she has a lot of interest in us. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.